add content to a blank project in Captivate, just go to the Insert menu and then choose the type of slide you want to add to the project from the drop down list. The first one we're going to do is a video recording of what's on screen. So if you choose Recording Slide and then just say OK, um, it should um, come up with the next box and it's asking you what you know window to record. So I already opened up um, you know a Firefox tab so um, for my tutorial just as a demonstration and um, so I'm going to tell it to record that and it's asking you if you want to snap the recording box to the window the recording box is this red line here and that's everything within this red line is where it records you don't have to do that if you don't choose it um, you can move the red box around like that if you click snap to the window it just fixes it onto the window so that um, when you move or if you accidentally move it it's it's still recording I'm just going to choose that and um, click full motion no panning because you don't want it to zoom in and out um, or anything when you're recording you just want it to just record the screen and then click record you should then see this calibrate box and if you are using headphones and um, recording audio this is where you have to calibrate to make sure it's picking that up so you click auto calibrate <laughs> And you can see there that um, you know while I was talking, it's assessed and it can hear me, and it says the input level is okay. So you go, okay. It counts you down, and now it's recording what's happening on screen. So you just, um, for the purposes of now, I'll just do a quick demo of how to get to the library catalog, and um, just do a quick search. So. When you want to finish a recording, um, you go to the menu uh, button at the bottom and then you can see there Captivate is flashing like this because it's, you know, recording. So you just tap that and it should finish the recording and take you back into the program like this. So you can see there that it, it's, it's captured what was on the screen and it's picked up my audio and it's picked up that it's a, um, a video recording. To play it, just make sure that the slide is selected and then put your audio on to check your audio and then press play. So you can see there that it's recorded and picked up what I was saying and it's just going to go through. I'll just mute myself because it sounds a bit funny. So that's how you check it and that's how you um, make a recording slide. To insert a PowerPoint slide into a Captivate um, project, go back to Insert within Captivate and then choose PowerPoint slide. And it's asking you, you know, where, whereabouts in the, pro in the project you want to do it. So yeah, let's go after slide two. And then you just have to find the PowerPoint slide from wherever it was that you saved it. So I'll just um, navigate to wherever it was. And then, oh, um, there you go. And it should just do it. Um, oh, a key thing to say is that um, you have to have the PowerPoint program closed before you try and insert the slide or it won't do it. So it's asking you here if you want to um, advance the slide on the mouse click so the students or whoever it is has to click the tutorial to get to the next bit. But I'm just going to do automatically. Um, okay. Um, that doesn't really matter if it's the right size. It will look okay when it's published. And there you can see that it's inserted the PowerPoint slide within my project. To insert an image file into your Captivate project, just go to the Insert tab again at the top and then just choose Image Slide. Now this might be quite good to do like a screenshot of the front end of Discover or something like that, some other um, thing that you want to demonstrate to students. So I've already taken my screenshot and saved it as an image like with quite a high um, 
dimensions. So I'm just going to um, navigate to find it and then select. OK. So it's just asking you now like um, what size you want it to be and brightness and whatever. So I'm just going to put fit to stage and um, what's that? Yeah. OK. So there you go. Um, it's just inserted that into the um, project phrase there.